Hello everyone. Um, so in today's class, what we're going to do is um, we are going to change the logic for us to generate our detections. Uh, so from in last class, what we have done is we have done some some uh, refactoring on our domain classes. Um, let's remove that trash from here. So we have done some changes, some refactoring, and uh, to make it more reasonable or make it like closer to what we have in real life. Um, and then so. Yeah, so just to recap, we have basically the equipment, which now has a list of lanes. Each lane uh, has an identifier and also has the detector uh, bounded to it. So, um, so one implementation of the detector at least. So what, uh, yeah, we did, we, one thing which we forgot, we didn't refactor the, the test itself, so it's breaking as you can see. So let's fix first that now and then we are going to change the, the logic for generating the, the detection itself. So lane now needs a detector, right? So let's first create the fake, the fake detector here in the beginning. It's just a small refactor we need to do. Let's remove the lane and remove the, the equipment itself. So we have a fake detector, we have the ID and we have the detector itself. Then the equipment was already generated here, where in fact we don't really uh, need to generate an equipment anymore so a detector doesn't depend on, on it anymore also not on the lane so the detector is basically totally independent right now we just create the detector and we run it so okay let's run the test see if it's working fine that's it fine okay so after refactoring is being done um, now what we're going to do is to change our detector uh, logic so Let's go to our detector, fake detector. And uh, currently we are just creating a detection which uh, generate like no empty uh, with empty plate and uh, uh, string and uh, like a static is, uh, speed is velocity. So <clears throat> let's first create one uh, random here, random instance. And we, let's start, let's uh, initialize that here, random, new random. Then for the, the speed, what we are going to do is, let's say we are going to do like a next double from, one, from um, 50 to uh, 100, uh, zero. Perfect. The detection is speed. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's let's make this double because it makes more sense than uh, long itself. Okay. So now we have that. And for the plate, let's create uh, another uh, <clears throat> another domain. Let's call it just to make uh, to make our our domain a bit a bit a bit more richer, like a bit richer uh, than 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 having just strings. So let's create create a record called plate. This record uh, is going to have the number itself or the code, yeah, whatever you want to call it, number, let's call it code. Um, okay, one thing we are also going to do is to have a static, uh, public static um, string or plate random. Let's make a method like this. And here we are basically going to generate something like this. It's going to be like three letters plus uh, three numbers or four numbers, sorry. And this is going to be a plate. Oops, new plate. It's going to have something like this. So um, let's create. Let's create a test first for that, so we can uh, we can test what we are trying to do. So. Uh, here we have domain dot plate test oh, plate test <coughs> so creating the first test I want to check if our plate generation is going to work random plate generation so should generate a valid valid plate um, Okay, so let's say, by the way, let me change the name, let me make it generate. So here we have plate.generate. 
now what I want to check is I want to check if the the plate has let's create a plate um, dot code let's create a button here for for us to check the regex filter final uh, pattern then we do pattern dot compile then what we are going to do here is that we are going to check if there is first something from 0 to 9 uh, plus 3 then we are going to check something from a to z four times that should that should do the trick so we are basically going to check if this pattern so pattern dot uh, mature plate dot cold and then we check if this find something assertions dot asserts true we check if it finds something let's run the test let's see if it's going to run it's going to pass it doesn't work why let's check it's false um, let's check first what we are receiving here on our uh, <coughs> on our plate itself so plate is abc1234 um, and then let me execute some stuff here so pattern dot matcher three a b c d yeah it's the opposite right now i just realized that it is actually the opposite so first here's the a a to z and then we have the zero to nine so it's the first are the letters and then we have the the numbers that's fine so that passed so um that's it now we need to have a real logic, right? Because we just changed the code and we still have the, the, the static thing here. So for that, what, I, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do to add a bash commons lang. Uh, so we're going to use some methods from here. We can do it ourselves, okay? We can go and generate like a, uh, get like a, uh, uh, easily. We can create the four and everything, iterate through the, through the numbers and iterate uh, through through the what do you say through the the characters and characters and do it but i don't want to do it right now i just want to take don't take don't spend time on small stuff like that so let's just use the library which we can easily get the random uh, letters and random numbers so now what we do is that we have string uh, something utils or string generate or generator wait what's the name again string uh youtube's is it string youtube's generate a random oh spring uh, random something let me check it's a long time i don't use it spring random or random string youtube's that that's it string youtube's then we are going to generate random uh alphabetic uh then we say Three, we make it static, and then we also do a random um, numeric four. And let's run our, our test again, and it pass, and that's it. So that's the that's so if you check this right now plate generate plate all fine let's go to our detector and let's make it uh, <coughs> plate dot generate and we also have to change our detection right now right we are not going to use the string we are going to use the plate class itself so everything's fine let's go and run our application and see if this is working as, as expected yeah now we have it so another thing i'm going to do just for us to make it easier for us to run the application i will make this uh <coughs> running i will also do a, a thread slip here just for us to simulate uh the, the execution of the the thread of the detection detector itself to be not so quick we are seeing so many logs and everything 
So let's just as soon as we do the to, to, to as soon as we execute something, let's do a thread slip of a half second. I know the code looks ugly, uh, but that's just for us to simulate like a something which is easier for us to read. <coughs> so now you see here receiving it, the speed's coming as well and uh, that's it so i think that's what we have for the class today so now we have like a, a fake detector which looks like something which may be more more reasonable to us right something which we can understand better and have more information and now next class what we are going to be doing is we are going to start our our uh, api itself <clears throat> which is going to receive those detections and uh, and then we are going to integrate this api with this application here Okay, so that's it. Uh, see you in the next class. Bye-bye.